On Monday, all I wanted was to be warm and comfortable and preferably crawl back into my bed and sleep throughout the whole day. Although that last day wasn't quite possible, I did manage to stay warm by wearing my favorite cozy flannel from Abercrombie and Fitch. I love how the colors are really dark so it gives the flannel more of a classy vibe. I paired that with just some simple dark wash jeans. These are my go-to pair from American Eagle. To dress up the otherwise really casual outfit, I threw on these heeled Chelsea boots from Forever 21. And to finish off the look, I layered underneath some frilly socks, which I think gives it a really sweet and girly vibe. I feel like Tuesday is a day that nobody really likes, so I decided to give it some love by dressing up a little. It also got like 20 degrees warmer on Tuesday, so it was definitely time to pull out some skirts. My button-up is from H&M, and it's in this dusty pink color that I absolutely love. I bought this like two years ago, but I keep wearing it every single season. I feel like it never really goes out of style. I paired that with a gray flowy skirt from Abercrombie and & Fitch, and tied everything together with this striped waist belt. I actually got it at a Goodwill, but it's from the brand Abercrombie & Fitch as well. Whenever I wear a top and a skirt, I pretty much always like to throw on a belt. I feel like it really just helps tie the entire look together and it helps define my waist. And for shoes, I'm wearing these lace-up block heels from Zara. I love how they give me some extra height, but the relatively low heel is still super easy to walk in. On a side note, I was kind of bummed out how the black in the shoes didn't really go with the brown in the belt, but I didn't have any brown shoes or black waist belts and nobody really cares about this, do they? Uh, let's move on. <laughs> I was actually low-key proud of my outfit on Wednesday because I think it looks so cute. I wanted to do a bit of a layered look because outside it was like 80 degrees, but inside my teachers blast the AC. So I'm wearing this black leather jacket from Hollister. They don't really seem like the type of store that would carry good leather jackets, but I mean, this one's been serving me well and it was like $30. My tank top is a recent purchase from Forever 21 and I got a ton of compliments on this. It's pretty simple, but it's super soft and flowy and it has a really cool kind of mock neck Victorian-ish ruffle detail. My jeans are again from American Eagle, and I love just the simple knee slit, nothing too crazy. And then I finished off the look with some pointed leopard flats from BP that I got at Nordstrom Rack. I think they add a much needed pop of pattern to an otherwise solid colored outfit. On Thursday, it was really hot, so it was time to break out the shorts. Aw oh, yeah. Uh, these high-waisted shorts are from American Eagle, and I like how they're quite simple and just like a classic roll-up. My tank top and cardigan are actually also from American Eagle. I thought they gave a really nice relaxed boho vibe and I don't know if you can see but there's some kind of gold detailing on the tank top that I thought tied in really well with the beige on the cardigan. To keep with a kind of casual beachy theme, I threw on these lace-up sandals uh, with a bit of a wedge from Forever 21. I'm really not a fan of how flip-flops look on my feet or the sound that they make when you walk through the hallways, so I thought these were a good alternative. And then just when I thought spring was kicking in, Friday happened and it was like 40 degrees again. So it was time to pull out the tights and flannel again. My flannel is actually the same one from Monday. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater! Guilty as charged, but I did wash it in between and I don't think anybody noticed because the outfits look pretty different. Anyways, I'm also wearing this overall dress that I got from PacSun. I think it's a really cool modern take on the 90s overall trend. To stay warm, I'm wearing some opaque black tights. Mine are actually like over the knee socks that I pulled all the way up uh, just because I didn't want to look like too Tumblr hipster and I didn't have a proper pair of opaque tights. Now that I think about it, it's kind of ratchet, but let's just roll with it. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these black lace-up heels from Zara, which I think help refine the look a little bit. Alright, those are all of my outfits of the week. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. And please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more outfit of the week videos or if you have any video requests. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.